simplify means you have to make the term as a lowest term so maximum you have to simplify the fraction that you have to bring the particular answer as a very smallest term very lowest term okay but only in fraction now look at the sum now so look at the sum 5 by 12 into 7 by what 10 5 by 12 is a fraction and 7 by 10 is also a fraction both are proper fraction now we are going to solve the problem so 5 into 7 divided by 12 into 10 look at the sum 5 into 7 that is if you want you can cross the number also so 5 is 5 5 5 is a 1 so 5 2 is a 10 so 1 into 7 divided by 12 into 2 so the answer is 7 by 24 the answer is 7 by 24 so here after you can't what make the term as very lowest because this is a what odd number and this is a numerator is odd number this is a numerator you know that this is the denominator so numerator is uh, odd number and denominator is a what even number so you can't uh, what you can't simplify the term this is the very lowest term for this question so this is the answer for this question also second sum 6 by 11 into 5 by 42 so 6 by 11 is a fraction and 5 by 42 is also a fraction so both are what fraction proper fraction so write it first 6 into 5 divided by 11 into 42 so you can cross the number if i take it means 6 ones are 6 so 6 sevens are what 42 so i'll write 1 into 5 you can get 5 what after that you can get 11 into 7 that is 11 into 7 that means what you'll get that is 1 into 5 5 11 into 7 you can get 77 77 so after you can't take the number so 5 by 77 1 into 5 you can get 5 11 into 7 77 the answer is 5 by 77 this is the answer now we are going to solve the third sum Seven by six into six by twenty-one. Six by twenty-one. So seven into six divided by six into twenty-one. So what are you going to do? So first you have to write this is a fraction. Is a what? It's an improper fraction. Here is a proper fraction. Seven by six. How could you say it is an improper fraction? Because uh, seven is a was a greater number. Seven numerator is greater than the denominator. Seven is greater than six. 7 by 6 into 6 by 21 so i'll write as it is 7 into 6 divided by 6 into 21 so you just cancel 6 and 6 cross the number so you can get only 1 okay and after that i cancel with i cancel 7 by 21 7 by 20 7 sevens are 1 7 divided by 7 you can get 1 21 divided by 7 you can get 3 so 1 into 1 you can get 1 so here there is no number so what 1 into 3 you can get 3 so 1 by 3 is the answer for this question Okay, uh, the next sum is fourth sum. I am going to solve. So, 5 divided by 33 into 11 by 2. So, first is a proper fraction, next is an improper fraction. So, you write as it is. So, 5 into 11 divided by 33 into 2. Very good. So, you cancel with 11 first. So, 11, 11 is divided by 11, you can get what? 1. 11 is divided by what? 3, you can get 3. So, if you cancel with 11, it gets 1. You cancel with the same 11, 33 divided by 11, you can get what? 3 is the answer. Because 11 into 1, you can get 11. 11 into 2, you can get 22. 11 into 3, you can get 33. So, I cancel with 11. So, 11 divided by 11, you can get 1. 33 is divided by 11, you can get 3. So, what is the answer? So, this is the odd number and this is the even number. So, you can't cross the number. So, 5 into 1, you can get 5. So, 3 into 2, you can get what? 6. So, 5 by 6 is the answer. So, I just want to, uh, the same second sum, similar to the second sum, but only one difference. See here, 55 by 42. See, look at the second sum. It's almost similar to this sum. Okay, 6 by 11. Here, 5 by 42 in the second sum. Now, I'm giving, then I change the number 55. 
so i just cross with number 6 into this is a proper fraction this is an improper fraction how could you say it is improper fraction because numerator is greater than the denominator a proper fraction because 6 is a 6 by 11 is a proper fraction because numerator is less than the denominator so 6 into 55 is equal to 11 into 40 divided by 42 is equal to 6 into 55 after that 11 into 42 so i cancel with 11 so 1 here 5 so 11 5s are 55 so 6 i cancel with 6 means here also 1 here 6 7s are 42 so 1 into 5 you can get 5 1 into 5 you can get 5 so here 1 into 7 you can get 7 so answer is 5 by 7 but here 55 by 77 here so in second sum the same question but only one thing uh, I have given 5 by 42 here I given 55 by 42 that is the difference the answer is 5 by 77 in this sum you can get 5 by 7 this is the right answer for the question okay children